Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this beautiful tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create a file upload option using WP Forms plugin like this. Let's say I want to upload one file, so I'll select one and it will show me one resume, okay? If I want to upload two, two file I have, then if I'll click two, then two files I'll be getting. They can write their names, lastly, name, email ID, and let's say if I have three files, okay, then I can have a three file upload options. Like that we can add conditional logic to our contact forms. So in this video, we are going to learn to create such kind of beautiful file upload contact form in your website. Now hover over WP forms and there you have to click on add new. And once you are on this page, you have to write the form name. First write as file upload. Okay. And next, this is the name for the form we are giving. You can write anything. I'll click on simple contact form. So for creating contact form, you just need to drag and drop the content from this area to this area. This is like easy and simple. So our main important concept for this is file upload. So I'll drag the file upload in this area. See, I have dragged it and you can move it up and down by holding it up and down. So wherever you want, you can hold it. So the middle place is good. So now for editing further, you have to click here. And first of all, you have to write the label. It's file upload. You can select it as let's say you want to accept resume. I'll write the resume or you can write his bio data. You can write the description. Let's say kindly upload uh, 25 MB file. Like that you can write the description. Allowed extension you should write as .pdf. And then for separation you should give comma if you have more version like let's say you want to accept dot .document dot .doc. So these are the extension of the file you can add. If you want to add further, you give comma and add next. Okay. So these are the extension you should write there. So I need only two version PDF and DOC file. The maximum file size is 25 MB. You can limit it. It's all up to you. The maximum number of file. I can allow him to upload two files. Okay. You can upload up to two files. Okay. And this function is required. Require means he has to upload his resume. Now scroll down and there's an option which says advanced option. You have option style modern. See, this is the style modern or classic. So whichever you want, you can select and go ahead. Hide the label. Label will be hidden. Okay. But I like the label. This label is that. And then you have to select store file in WordPress library. It is going to store the file in the WordPress library. Then we have CSS classes layout. Let's say uh, for CSS class layout, you have to click here. I guess this is not required for this one because let's say you, if you want it in the, this corner, you write this and let's say first you have to click on save and then embed it. Then we can have a real example how you can use a CSS classes. So I'll click save and I'll copy the code and I'll say cancel, go to any of the posts or pages, say add new and write as the title file upload and then paste the code and then say save draft. Okay. And now have a preview of the file upload. Okay. Now I can upload the file. And the maximum of 25 MB is required. Okay. Is allowed. So now I'll go back and there I, I told you to, I'll teach you this one. Let's say first half, I want this one. Okay. And this one I want in half of second half. So if I'll click save and I'll go back, refresh the page you'll see the half of the half, they both divided. So that is the meaning of CSS classes. Okay, but this is not required for us now. For this one also, I should click and remove, remove this one. 
so now guys we'll test our contact form where the guy who can upload only one file and those who wants to learn more they can continue with me because still uh, 10 minutes video is there 5 to 10 minutes video is there I'll teach you conditional logic that is most important part in this area so I'll click save I'll go and refresh the page and now if you'll see here name email id is required resume is there and the comment message is there so i'll fill all the details number two is filled then email id at the rate gmail.com whatever it be yeah is gmail suggestion is there also so select a file maximum file size should be 25 mb so i'll upload this one say open okay file will take your the name and then you have to write a message say hi and click on submit see the file upload is going on you can see thanks a lot for connecting us we'll be in touch with you so we miss one important things we already sent the because our, in my website there's a setting it will send directly to me but we miss one of the important things that is setting general setting inside this we have to configure three settings general notification and confirmations so in a speedy way I'll, I'll discuss everything you have to edit the file name the file name which is like file upload id is there so it will tell you the file name file descriptions form css classes okay submit button for detailed discussion you can have a view of uh, complete one hour uh, video for um, wp forms pro you learn more for this for submitting text button is submit text button is this one this text button is submit css classes for complete form and then submitting button when i click submit it say sub sending okay so you can edit it submit button css classes you can change the color or you can move from this side to this side or whatever it's all up to you using the css classes i've discussed there enable honeypot anti-spam so there's option which says enable google invisible captcha you can enable it it will help you to protect from spammers and you should enable enable ajax form submission without refreshing the page it will submit the form next option is very important which says notifications let's say this is the ad sent to admin email id you have to write down your own email id let's say my email id is whatever at the rate gmail.com admin email id is means the guy who owns the website he'll get that email so i'll give comma and i'll add some more email id let's say some some more people need this so these two people will get a notification sent to email id then email subject will be new entry from the file upload file number this contact form number id is this okay so you can add here click on smart tags and scroll down and say embed page or post url from where this got filled up name from name let's say go mahamaya the website name okay from email id the admin email id okay reply to leave it the same field one and inside the message you can add some more smart tags let's say if you need something related to his uh, date ip address the guy who is filling the form or user full name it will automatically attach in the these fields last name user user metadata author id author id author name login url referred from from where he got referred so i'll click referred url okay i'll say save and then there's a one more option confirmations message type a message type is means this message will be shown okay show when they click send message then they will get thank you for connecting us we'll be in touch with you if you'll choose show page means uh, it will get redirected to home page and if you'll choose go to url means you you can create a custom page for those people i guess this one is best one if you have made any changes click on save change and go to file upload preview and now i have these data so i'll click on submit 
Thanks a lot for connecting us. We'll be in touch with you. I'll go to my Gmail. Now I'm inside my Gmail and I couldn't be able to find inside the inbox. So I have to scroll down and inside the more you should click on spam and there you'll find that is there inside the spam box and you can uh, you'll find the direct resume link you'll find so you click here so it says forbidden because uh, according to my website you cannot have access of such files so go back to your website and click on media files and inside media file you can see this file is there right so this one I have uploaded so I can have a preview of it or I can download it if you want to see more about the form then you should go to WP forms all forms and there inside the form overview these forms you'll find file upload contact form and there you'll find two entries you have to click on the two entries and there you can find name email id resume is already there you can click and view it view or delete it's all up to you and and now you have more options to do preview form export all mark all read delete all okay next we'll go and learn conditional logic so i'll go to my website and then we have important functions which is conditional logic so i'll click on this and click on enable conditional logic so for basic understanding of the conditional logic we need to add some fields let's say to make it more better let's say I'll go to add fields drop down item I'll pull the side and drop it here and then I'll click on this drop down menu and there we have option to label it and all those things are there let's say if you are applying for two posts let's say post one post two and post three okay uh, if anyone wants to apply for two posts or he wants to upload two images so he he, he should select two I uh, how many uh, option you want to upload how many how many files do you have so how many files do you have if you have two that means two resume or two upload image or option should come like that you can add conditional logic so now what we actually wants to do is we wants to build something like this if I say select one then it should show first resume file only upload only one option if I say two then it should show two upload option if I say three then it should show resume one a picture one picture three like that it should show me so what we are going to do we have to add some logic for that so uh, we have file one two three if they select it like then they should add a conditional logic so we need to duplicate this one instead of writing against these things we'll make a copy of it okay say duplicate again say duplicate but you will see like resume one copy resume one copy of copy so just change the name okay if you double click here you find the name and say it resume two then click here and say resume three or picture three if you are asking your customer to upload pictures then you should write it pictures now I'll add conditional logic so I'll start from resume one so resume one then if you scroll down inside the conditional logic inside the field option show resume one means if I'll go to the, this option and if I'll say one then it should show file one okay only file one if I say two also file one should be there if I'll say three then also file one should be there so this is our logic that file one should be there in three cases when i say how many files do you have if the selected function if show this field show this field if how many files do you have is one okay if i select one means show this particular field or click there add new groups and then how many files do you have if the selected files do you have is is 
two. Show this one, this one. When when I select two, let's say if I'll go to there, I, if I select two, resume one is there, right? So I'm adding. So this if two is also selected. Next, click on add new. If I'll select three, then also resume one is coming. So I should add a conditional logic in such a way that it should show resume one when the conditional third is also selected. This is the choice. These are the choices. If the choice third is selected, then you should then they should show that particular file. Similarly, I'll click on second file and I'll scroll down and I'll enable conditional logic. Show the second resume upload file when they select option two. It should show when second is selected and third is selected. Whenever I click option three, means all three should come. Means two and three should come. Okay. Similarly, I'll add selected field. How many files you have is to add groups. How many files you have is three. Okay. When I say three, show this file, this file, and this file. I select two. Show this one. Not for selecting one. When I select two, show this file. When I select three, show this file. Right. So I'll similarly, I'll click on three. Three is only shown when I select group third. So I hope you got the options like how conditional logic is working. Or let's say you, if you have anything, okay. So I'll click save and I'll refresh the file. And now we have how many files you have? One showing for one. If I have two, show for two. If I have three, show for three. Okay, so I hope guys you find this video useful. If you did, give thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel for the more further updates. Thank you.